up to my favorite bunch of beauties welcome back to Nisi W Beauty my name is Denise if you are new here welcome I hope you enjoy what you see and I hope you subscribe I decided I'm going to get a little bit closer to you I decided that I would go ahead and continue on with the sort of skincare theme that I have had for this week I am sans makeup and I'm going to share with you my favorite skincare products and I guess you can consider these products for mature skin since I am over 50 and I also wanted to discuss feeling more comfortable in your skin so I am one who is not always comfortable with what I see in the mirror um, I am not really comfortable well no I'm not going to say that I used to not be comfortable like once I turned and I'm going to tell you the magic number for me was 38 once I turned 38 I discovered my love for makeup and I always wanted to wear makeup and then it turned into I, I wouldn't want to go outside without wearing makeup on but I have come to a place in my life right now where I am happy with what I look like with no makeup on. Granted, we did get these brows tinted a little bit today because they are sparse. But um, I am happy with my skin. I am happy with the way I look without makeup on. Um, I am happy just to put like a, a, a lip balm or a gloss on and just go outside and call it that. And I don't know, I just think it's one of those things like as we get older, we start focusing on what's wrong with our skin. Like we start seeing like I have a few age spots here. I have some fine lines on my forehead. I have hyperpigmentation, dark circles, but that is me. And I think I am now just more comfortable with that is me and that is what I look like. And if you don't like it, so what? And that is, that is the philosophy that I'm just going to continue to have. I am just going to love the skin that I am, I'm in. I am going to love the body that I am in. If it is not anything that I, if it's something that I can do about it to make it better, my mindset set now is to do what I can do to make it better or make myself more healthy, make my mental health a little bit healthier, doing more things for me, like going to the esthetician and things like that. So I, with that being said, am just gonna tell you what my favorite skincare products are. And granted, these could go for any age, but since I am a woman over 50, I'm going to consider these as things that you can use for mature skin. Some of them you have seen before, but some of them are like OGs for me. I have been using them for literally decades or at least a decade more than a decade for one of them so i'm going to get started and we will go in order of the way we would use them so the first one i am going to show you this one is was recommended by my esthetician last year so i started using this last year and it is from dermalogica and it is the pre cleanse so it is a professional it's professional grade skincare so it's an oil but and you will hear this if well, if you watched my Monday morning makeup video you heard her say this is a water soluble oil so you can easily break it down and clean it off with water but this is the Dermalogica pre cleanse oh, yeah. but this is the Dermalogica pre cleanse so this one is used to break down your makeup and remove your makeup before you actually wash your face All right. and like i said it breaks down with water so you can just take a wet cloth and wipe it off and continue 
the, the rest of your skincare. The next one is the one that I said that I have probably been using for decades. And this is from at least two, no, maybe not. I've been using this for a lot of years and this is the Purity Made Simple and this is a one-step facial cleanser. So this one is supposed to deep clean pores and eliminate makeup buildup, hydrate as it melts away makeup. Um, and it is fragrance free. So anyway, this one has been really good to me. It is very gentle. It is a little on the pricier side. So it's a Dermalogica, but if something works for my skin, I'm just going to use it. And I usually get my purity. This is not the one that I'm using. This is like a backup because it's a little bit smaller. I have the 32 ounce size in my shower. And I usually pick that one up from QVC because they usually have a deal on it. Sorry. But they usually have a deal on it. So that's where I usually pick. And I think this was part of a deal where you got two... 32 ounce and two of these 16 ounce ones. And then the next thing that I have been using and loving because I mixed it with my purity is from Dermalogica also. And this is the daily micro ex microfoliant. And this one is, I don't want to take it out. And it's a little grungy because it was in my shower, but you can see it has this little hole. It is a powder. So it is a powder and it says it's a rice-based powder. Activates upon contact with water, releasing papain. I don't know what that is. Salicylic acid and rice enzymes to polish skin to perfection. So I mix this with this and I exfoliate my skin. And once again, I'm going to refer back to my Monday morning makeup video where you saw me get my facial. She did say I have something called KP or some kind of keratosis pilaris, I think she said it was. And what it is, she said it's some, so, uh, like, kind of, they don't feel really rough to me, but you can feel a bumpiness. And she said that's where, like, the hairs are trying to come out, but they haven't really come out and the exfoliant would help that. So I need to actually do that one more often. The next thing is a pretty recent favorite and it is from Pharmacy and it is called Feeling Good Hyaluronic Acid Plumping Serum. And that looks like this. I actually got this from a, um, a boxy jar and BoxyCharm is the one who made me realize how much I like pharmacy products. They also have a very good uh, like balm type makeup remover. So if you don't like this one, they have a balm type of one. So we like that. The next thing is an OG fave and definitely been using this one. Jeez, have I been using it over 10 years? I've been using this since it came out, we'll say that. And I actually have it today in a bonus size. So it's four fluid ounces, but this is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. And I will show you what this looks like. So I just recently opened this one and I have a backup. But this cream is a thicker cream, which I like because for whatever reason, I, I like to be able to feel my cream. But um, it's not like a greasy cream. It absorbs right into the skin. And of course, I like to use this one at night right before I go to bed. And you wake up and you can still feel the moisture in your skin. The next thing I'm going to show you is an eye cream because I believe in eye creams. Not everybody believes in eye creams, but I do. And I have been using this one on and off for years. And this one is from Tarte. And it is the Maracuja Sea Brightener Eye Treatment. And it looks like this. And I am going to show you. It's just a white cream. Oops. 
which this one I just purchased. I have um, another one, so I have not dug into this one, but it's just a white cream. And I like it because it is a little bit thicker than some eye creams. So, it, um, I, I just, I feel like I'm getting my money's worth just because I can feel the cream. And I go between that one and, and this one, which is also from It Cosmetics, and it's the Confidence in an Eye Cream. And this one is like yellowish, just like the, well, actually, this one is more of like a cream color. And this one is also a thicker eye cream, which is what I prefer. Some eye creams come in a tube. I prefer the ones that come in little pots like this. The next thing, which I forgot to, I tried to put them in order, but I cannot. Um, so this one, I'm trying to see what they say apply on clean skin after serum so I should have mentioned this before I mentioned the creams but this is from good molecules which means it's affordable and it is the gentle retinol cream it's supposed to soften the appearance of fine lines and help skin look firmer this is not something that I use every day I probably should but I do not but I am somebody sort of afraid of retinols so because this one says gentle I feel like it's a way to kind of ease myself into it um of course we didn't do this in order because I have a toner which should have gone right after my cleanser but the toner that I'm using right now and liking because I like the fact that you can spray it on is from Dermalogica and it's the antioxidant hydro mist and she did use this as part of my facial today on well i had my facial today but you saw that in the monday morning makeup so i really like that and this one you don't really have to like wipe your face you just spray it on yeah you just spray it on and this also says you can spray it over makeup throughout the day and then the last two things I am going to show you are day moisturizers with SPF. So my um, less more affordable is what I want to say. My more affordable recent love with sun sunscreens is the Good Molecules Sheer Mineral Sunscreen with SPF 30. So anything that is an SPF 30 or above is for me. And this one is 50 mLs or 1.7 fluid ounces. Active ingredient is zinc oxide. And this is about your average size for a facial moisturizer. And then the second one is the Fenty Skin. Let's see if I can... The information is on the tube and this is the hydra visor invisible moisturizer broad spectrum fpf spf 30 sunscreen and it comes in like a little cartridge and this is what you can replace and you just snap it into here and i kind of pushed it and didn't mean to and you can twist it down and that's how you open it and close it and then once you go to replace it you just pull it out okay and that's it this one i had still been on the hunt for a good spf that was not going to leave a white cast i will tell you the good molecules one i think does leave a little bit of a white cast but not so much that it's a no and this one i'm trying to see if they this one is also 1.7 fluid ounces active ingredient in this one is a avobenzone homosalate and oct these words man octosalate and all of those are our sunscreens so 
that is that probably more expensive ingredients than zinc oxide which is why that is more expensive plus the name but that is it those are my favorite skincare products currently i feel like i was a little bit all over the place in this video so i hope you got some value out of it and thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are already subscribed please make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when i have a new video coming out love the skin that you are in and don't let your day be a waste of makeup